Hey guys, Connor here with Condor Blue, and today I'm here to quickly go over the highlights of our 501 Airy Dovetail base plate. So let's go ahead and kick things off with the 501 plate itself. Now the great thing about using a 501 standard is that it's going to work with all Manfrotto tripods. So if you wanna quickly move from one setup to another, it's going to be quick and efficient. Now in order to remove the plate from the base receiver itself is simply using this right thumb screw here. So you just simply twist it, press it down, and then the plate removes. This is a side loading mechanism, so you can simply put it back in. This is gonna be particularly useful as your rigs start getting more complex and heavy. It's a lot easier to do that than the traditional method, which is to use a safety pin. So if you press in the safety pin on the left-hand side, you can remove it from the back and then press it in and put it in from the back end. Now the reason why you have to press in the safety pin so that it doesn't fall off accidentally. Of course, protecting your gear. That is the number one priority. So if we move over to the bottom of our base plate, of course we have the Airy Dovetail Receiver, which you simply loosen using this left lever here. Just move it like so. And then this is going to work with all Airy Dovetails. This one is ours, it's a great little setup. Now why would you wanna use an Airy Dovetail? And maybe you don't even know what an Airy Dovetail is. Essentially this is going to attach to your tripod Pod itself and then this allows you to quickly move the weight or the center of gravity of your entire rig quickly because as you start to build things out you put a heavier lens on or you put a bigger battery on it gets really important to make sure that the balance of your entire rig is in the middle so you can quickly move it around no big deal, and then light it all the way off if you no longer want it on the setup. However, you don't have to utilize an airy dovetail if your rig doesn't require it. You can mount directly to the base receiver utilizing these screw mounts here on the bottom, which do have stainless steel heli coils inside, basically providing extra durability. Now, the last thing about the base plate that I wanna cover is of course it's 15 millimeter rod clamp, which works with any standard 15 millimeter rod. In the case right here, we have our six inch rods and they simply slide into the base plate. Now what's cool about our design is that they tighten down with one thumb screw here on the left hand side. So they both tighten down and then again, if you loosen it, they both loosen basically making set life a little simpler and a little bit easier. Anyways, guys, this has just been a quick overlook of our 501 Airy Dovetail base plate. If you have any further questions, be sure to ask our support team. They're always happy to answer any questions that you guys may have. Once again, I'm Connor with Condor Blue, and I will see you in the next one.